What is the heat affected zone and how does IT affect weldability? The heating and cooling action that occurs when welding is a form of heat treating in the localized area of the puddle and weld joint, that may result in changes to the mechanical properties of the base metal and surrounding area. The area most affected by heating and cooling during welding is called the heat affected zone has. The heat affected zone. The heating and cooling rate of welding directly under the arc is from the melting temperature to normal temperatures and may occur relatively quickly or methods may be used to slow the cooling rate of the joint. These methods include post-heating the weld area with an oxy-fuel torch blanketing the weld area or using a precise heating and cooling method in a furnace or industrial setting. The more expensive and precise method of using a furnace under controlled conditions restores the mechanical properties of the weld joint in the surrounding base metal. The area surrounding the joint is heated to various temperatures depending on the distance from the arc the heat input of the process and the number of weld passes. This area is referred to as the heat affected zone. The grain structure in the melted weld area may form a desirable size and shape while the grain structure of the surrounding heat affected area may change to a less desirable shape and size and may cause cracking when welding on medium or high carbon steels. Often when welding a hardenable steel the heat affected area can harden to undesirable levels while welding an already hardened steel may result in a softened heat affected zone with loss of desired hardness. The heat affected zone may also have locked in stresses that can lead to problems when a welded structure is in service. Some industries employ a heat treating process called stress relieving to relieve residual stresses due to working or welding the structure. It is imperative to use the correct electrode for the application so that weld metal is compatible with the base metal and fewer changes occur due to the carbon or alloy content of the filler wire. Electrodes are available for welding tool steels and cast iron. When welding thick sections, medium carbon, high carbon, and high alloy steels check the recommended procedures for control of the heating and cooling rate. There are heat treating options such as annealing or normalizing that may be used to restore the grain structure of the welded piece. When welding low carbon, mild steels and most low alloy steels the heat affected area does not change the properties of the metal enough to become a problem regardless of the cooling rate. The heating and cooling that occurs in the heat affected area and surrounding metal may also lead to heat distortion of the parts being joined. Procedures may be used before, during, and after welding to minimize distortion.